You've probably heard about Hungary, right? It is a small country in Europe that can offer you a lot more than what you can expect. Let's go and discover 9 places to visit in Hungary in 2022. We have on number 9. The Hordobegi National Park The Hordobegi Puzta Cultural Landscape or the Hordobegi National Park is made up of a large expanse of plains and marshes in eastern Hungary. Traditional land uses, such as domestic animal grazing, have existed in this pastoral civilization for more than two millennia. Hordobegi National Park was Hungary's first national park, founded in 1973. The Alkaline Steppe, which dates back 10,000 years, is the country's largest protected area and Europe's largest semi-natural grassland. During the Ice Age, animals such as wild horses roam the steppe. The terrain is still grazed by horses, cattle, oxen, and water buffalo. Because the park is home to 342 kinds of birds, it's a great place to go bird watching. The Nine Arch Bridge, erected in the mid-19th century to help people traverse the severely flooded meadows, is a must-see. The Karyag Windmill, which was erected in the 19th century, is also a must-see. What a fun place to visit! On number 8, we have Debrecen. The capital of Hungary's northern Great Plain area is Debrecen. The spacious main plaza, Kossuth Ter, is home to a two-towered 19th-century Reformed church. The Museum of the Reformed College of Debrecen, which is close by, features displays on the city's and college's history. Archaeological findings, centuries-old weaponry, great art, local artisan exhibitions, and a hall of marvels are all part of the Dairy Museum's varied collection. Debrecen is an important cultural hub that has served as Hungary's capital at various times during the century. Debrecen, which was heavily damaged during World War II, is regarded as the country's intellectual hub, dating back to the creation of Calvinist College in 1538. The institution, currently known as the University of Debrecen, is noted for its architecture. The Bella Bartok International Choir Competition is held in the city, which has a flourishing musical culture. The Reformed Great Church, Hungary's biggest Protestant church, the Dairy Museum, which has an ancient Egyptian artifact collection, and the annual Flower Carnival are all popular attractions. Visiting Debrecen will make you learn history, so you better get your notes ready. Now at number 7 we have Hevitz. If relaxing in hot spring water is your thing, travel to Hevitz, which is home to one of the world's largest thermal lakes. The water temperature ranges from 24 to 37 degrees, or about 71 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit, ideal for a relaxing dip. The water flows rapidly enough from its source to change every three and a half days, ensuring that the water is pure. Hevitz, near Lake Balaton, is known for its baths and has a thriving resort industry. You might want to go for a trek in the neighboring forest after a swim in these healing waters, or attending a culinary festival or outdoor music. Hevitz is a popular year-round getaway due to its Mediterranean-like climate. This is the place to relax your mind and body. We've just talked about three places. If you want to hear more about the beautiful places in Hungary, then be sure to stay tuned. And now we're at number 6. We have the beautiful Agtelek National Park. If you enjoy splunking, Hungary's Agtelek National Park should be on your bucket list. The park is located in northern Hungary, about a three-hour drive from Budapest and has Europe's largest stalactite cave. There are guided excursions offered that are tailored to your physical ability. Listening to concerts within Buradla is a unique subterranean experience. The park is a protected region, with certain areas off-limits to tourists, and others requiring visitors to stay on established hiking routes. Agtelek National Park is a great spot to explore flora and animals as well as visit beautiful settlements. Hungary sure has a lot to offer, right? Hope you're still on track, because we are only halfway through these places. At number 5, we finally have Pex. Pex is a cosmopolitan city where diverse ethnic groups coexist peacefully, and migrants are welcomed into the city's heart, earning it the title of UNESCO City of Peace. Pex has been governed by Romans, Christians and Ottomans, and is home to Hungary's first university, built in 1367. Pex is a renowned tourist destination due to its moderate temperature, excellent museums, medieval structures, and fine wines. Pex Cathedral, Chieny Ter, Pex Synagogue, and Pash Gazi Kazim Mosque are among the city's historic religious structures. 
If you love colorful places and wonderful architecture, then you would most probably love this place. We are finally down to our last four places, so don't leave yet and enjoy the beauty of those remaining places. Now we are finally at our number four, the Sopron. Sopron was founded in Roman times and has since been both an Austrian and Hungarian city. After a referendum in 1921, Sopron earned the moniker Most Loyal Town, which is commemorated by the Gate of Allegiance. It's just near the city's most famous landmark, the Firewatch Tower, in the main plaza. World War II wrecked havoc on the city, although many of its medieval structures were spared. Sopron is now one of Hungary's most important wine-producing districts, and one of the few that produces both red and white wines. The Neymaring Alps offers excellent trekking opportunities. How fun just to think of visiting this wonderful place. What more if you see it in person, right? At number 3, we have the Eger. Hungary's second biggest city in the north is notable for a number of things. The city, which was founded in the 10th century by Hungary's first Christian ruler, St. Stephen, is known for its spectacular Baroque structures. The monarch established a Episcopal Cathedral in Eger, which is still a significant religious center today. The city grew up around the cathedral, which was erected on Castle Hill. The city's major attraction continued to be the castle and basilica, followed by the Valley of the Women, a series of wine cellars and restaurants constructed into the neighboring hills. The Torak Kori Minaret is Europe's northernmost Turkish minaret. The 150-step walk to the summit is challenging, but the views are well worth it. To think that this place was built hundreds of years ago makes it more beautiful and exciting to visit. We are already getting to the last place. But before that, let's see what we have on number 2. At number 2, we have here is the beautiful Lake Balaton. Head to Lake Balaton when resting at a resort seems more enticing than strolling along another cobblestone street to visit another old structure. Hungary's most popular summer resort is Europe's biggest freshwater lake. Because it is so large, it is frequently referred to as the Hungarian Sea, which is a hilarious mistake given that Hungary is a landlocked country. Many of the beaches are covered in grass, however, other resorts have constructed artificial sandy beaches. The party headquarters of the lake is Siofok, while boats from Funyad transport tourists to Badaksani, a prominent wine-growing region. More wineries may be found on the North Shore, as well as the ancient bathing town of Balaton Fered and the Baroque Festetics Castle. These eight places are really beautiful to visit in Hungary, but number one will make you like Hungary even more. Now on our number one, of course we have the very famous city of Budapest. Budapest, Hungary's capital city and largest city, is often regarded as one of the most beautiful cities in Europe. Budapest is one of the greatest destinations to visit in Hungary, including the world's largest thermal water cave system, the world's second largest synagogue, and the world's third largest parliament building. Fisherman's Bastion, which was once part of the city wall, offers amazing views over the Danube and the city. At Shoes of the Danube, a heartbreaking tribute to Jews slaughtered during World War II can be discovered, where Jews removed their shoes before being shot and swept away by the river. Budapest is comprised of two cities, Buda and Pest, which are separated by the Danube River and have merged into a spectacular city. Castle Hill, on the western bank of the Danube in Buda, is home to the Royal Palace, which was built in 1265 and has been refurbished several times. The 800-year-old Matthias Church, the National Gallery, and other institutions that represent Hungary's imperial heritage are housed in the modern neo-baroque architectural complex. Although the past is always present in Budapest, the city is known for its freewheeling take on modern life too. This is most visible in the Kurtz, or Ruin pubs, that crop up in the city's less developed areas when the weather gets nice. It might be difficult to locate open-air cafes, bars and clubs, but the cuisine and libations offered in these improvised facilities make the search worthwhile. If we are talking about Europe, then Hungary must be mentioned for it has so many beautiful places and stories to offer. These nine places in Hungary are just some of what you can visit there, so make sure to check out for more.